So Prince Harry still turned up to pick up his part chairman award despite all the campaigns that had been set up around the world to stop him from picking up that prestigious award because many people still did not believe that Prince Harry was deserving of that award, including Pat Tillman's mother. Mm. A petition that was set up prior was signed by over 70,000 people. Such a significant number that surely sent that strong message across that mm, Harry wasn't deserving of that award. But ESPN did not listen. Prince Harry was handed over that prestigious award. Mm. That event was hosted by Serena Williams, who, by the way, gave a monologue and spoke very less about ex-servicemen, by the way, unless it wasn't me listening properly. But I think she made this event all about herself and all the sportsmen and actors who were in attendance. Um, but let us leave that for another day. But it was interesting to see Prince Harry being introduced on stage as the Duke of Sussex um, and Meghan and Harry being seen as uh, real royals attending this function. Yet we thought Meghan and Harry were not to really proud of being royals and they stepped out of the royal family because they didn't want any of such introductions but they seemed to enjoy it and incredible work in terms of still shining a light on all these ex-servicemen through you know the wonders of sport but many people still think that wasn't enough for Prince Harry to earn himself this award because there are tons of people who have done so many things um, and people who are more deserving of this award. In fact, certain um, commanders and ex-military officers, one from the Royal Navy, put it out there recently that they thought Prince Harry and his idea of picking up that award was not a good idea and that it is something that comes across as Prince Harry wanting to gain publicity and not real, not really a worthy, you know, recipient of that award. And many people seemed to agree with him. And for this award, I think, ESPN is, of course, uh, giving this to Prince Harry because he's probably a royal. There could be some deals, maybe, that were, <laughs> you know, discussed behind the scenes. Many could argue that this could be another boat award because um, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle's brand has to move forward. They have to stay relevant and what way could they embrace to make them stay relevant than receiving such awards. So I think that isn't very surprising to us at all. But of course, Prince Harry gave that speech. He was thanking people for nominating him and giving him this award. He talked about the Invictus Games and what these have achieved so far. Uh, he talked about uh, the meaning of Invictus Games and how he is, of course, going to continue pushing all these campaigns to support the wounded soldiers. Um, and I think the positive thing we take from Prince Harry's appearance yesterday was uh, giving this award back to the ex-servicemen, the wounded servicemen because they were more deserving of this than Prince Harry himself. So we can look at that as a positive, okay? And uh, maybe just accept that from this whole uh, controversial uh, Pat Tillman Awards event. But looking at all the comments that were posted on this video, we can see that 
it is very, very difficult to find a positive one left behind. We see somebody said ESPN is a disgrace. Um, there stands a traitor. How dare you, Harry? You just did the work of shame. Shame on you, ESPN, to give Harry this award despite Mary Tillman lament. Harry did not deserve this award because he was a sheltered soldier, never faces frontline or combat, extremely shameful. 70,000 petitions signed, including Tillman's mother against Prince Harry receiving this award. Bear faced shame, Harry. Uh, are we somehow supposed to equate Pat Tillman's service to his country with Harry's? What has the IG has got to do with this award. Harry didn't deserve this award. He and his wife bought this award, sickening ESPN. You didn't pay any attention to the 75,000 plus people who rejected Harry as a winner. So clearly, looking through these tons and tons of comments, we see people still sending the same message that it wasn't worthy of Prince Harry receiving this award. Many people calling this a bunch of BS. <laughs> you need to go and watch this video yourselves um, and um, see what we are talking about. And I think people here were very right calling out uh, these organizers because first and foremost, as uh, they maintained, Harry hasn't, apart from this Invictus Games project, he hasn't really done much uh, to support these soldiers. First and foremost, again, this project wasn't Prince Harry's idea. We know all of that. And uh, the organizers of Prince Harry himself did not acknowledge or send uh, where wishes to those who were big behind the idea of setting up this Invictus Games project. So it seems like Meghan and Prince Harry are taking all of these praises and they are continuing to be seen as royals out there, being introduced as royals. Prince Harry, Meghan Markle walked away from wanting to be public. They are still really sat at the front line here. And this is good for them. This is material they are also collecting for the upcoming Netflix projects. So leave your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think about Prince Harry turning up for that award despite many people signing that petition to try and stop him from doing so? Stay subscribed.